Hi, it's been a while since I have done a video. This is Sandy B. Stitcher, and this is a channel about cross stitch. And I've had a lot of stuff happening and going on, so I'll give you a life update and then I'll show you the things that I have worked on. I actually have one finish and um, so I guess that's it. I hope everybody's well. Um, well, here goes. <laughs> I'm not real. Uh, I didn't write anything down, so I'm just going to try to go to it. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 21st of September, uh, 2022. And um, I believe that it was mid August, maybe around the 13th or something of August when I last did a video. Um, oh my, there's been just so much that has happened since then. I had told everybody at that time that I had had my cataract surgery done and I was supposed to go back at the end of the month to get checked for glasses. And it was that... No, it was the end of July I was supposed to get go back and get checked, and I had a problem with the macula, and so I think I told you about that. And um, I had to use um, steroid drops in my eyes and also anti-inflammatory drops in my eyes four times a day, and it was the end of August when I went back then to get checked again, and they were able, it had healed up, they were able to test my eyes. And then I got these new glasses just maybe last week. And they're not quite adjusted just right. So I have been getting a little bit of a sore on the side of my nose, but I'm working on the backs of them, trying to get them in so that they're tighter and um, that I... Uh, won't get that sore and I can see so much better now um, I am still getting some flashes um, on the outer sides occasionally and I guess some people get those flash uh, those light flashes for several months after their surgery so it's slowed way down so I'm hoping that that is going to be a thing of the past soon and then let's see what else was going on um, uh, Bob had his birthday in July which I probably had already told you about and my middle granddaughter just had her birthday on um, Monday and she just turned 22 and then let's see what else was going on. Um, we had a big um, fiasco in our family room here, which is this room. Um, we had been getting water in on the wall that's across from me here. And that wall has built-in cabinets, a big old countertop. Uh, the countertop is probably 15 to 20 feet long and then there's shelves above and there was a fireplace over on that wall and we have a pellet stove in that and then next to that there is a um, a bookcase that fills in that whole area floor to ceiling and because that water kept coming in and with all of my health problems it was getting harder and harder for me to keep up with that when the carpet would get wet that I had a company come out and uh, it cost an awful lot of money, but we had them do the um, interior drains that they did on this wall next to me here and on all four walls in the basement. Um, so they had to pull out all those built-ins and I was so afraid that something was going to get ripped up when they were doing that, but they managed to get them out and get everything back in without very much damage. 
Um, and, um, but the, the, they had to jackhammer the cement out of there and then dig all that out, put drains and slag over the top of that. And they had to re-cement it, cement it, <laughs> and then put the built-ins back in and all that cement dust was terrible. It was on everything. Even though I covered things up with sheets, it didn't matter. Everything was covered with cement dust. And so putting everything back together is still a work in process. I've gotten the cement dust cleaned off of almost everything. And I have been working at putting everything back into the cabinets and I'm almost finished, but I can only work at it so much and then I have to quit because my back will be killing me. And um, I've been trying not to take too much medication because it was really, all the stuff that I take was really ripping up my stomach. And um, I've been drinking milk and trying to make sure that I'm not eating too many foods that I really shouldn't. And my stomach is just now, the last few days, starting to get back on an even keel. So <laughs> we want to keep that up. And um, I still have the polymyalgia rheumatica and I'm still taking prednisone and um, have good days and bad days. Um, the fatigue has basically turned into chronic fatigue. And um, so I'm doing the best I can. And Bob is doing okay. He has uh, taken a couple of falls but uh, nowhere near as many as he used to. Um, his aide has been coming. Um, he's got a very good aide now, and she comes for uh, four hours a day, three days a week. So she's here for 12 hours for the week. And um, very, very good person. She works well with him. She's able to draw him out and get him to talk a little bit. and. Um, he doesn't seem uh, as depressed as he was before. Um, he still has quite a bit of depression, but it is better. And let's see, is there anything else that's been going on? Um, I was try trying to go through things out in the barn and out in the workshop, and we finally gave up on that. Um, it just, there's too many things that they're either really, really heavy, or I really don't know what they are. And um, Bob has so much trouble talking that I'm standing there waiting for him to tell me what it is. And then just because he tells me doesn't always mean I understand what its use is or what we could possibly do with it. So we um, gave up on that for until next spring. Oh. Look at the picture again then and see what's happening. So um, I guess with that, I will go into what I've been stitching on. Um, I will show you my finish, not anything really big or anything, but um, I had been working on the strawberry. And if you remember the blackberry, oh, get that so you can see the words. Um, the blackberry is on the top of this piece of material and it's not showing up, but it's kind of a buttercream, um, Ada. And here is the blackberry. So there's them together. And I will, what I'm thinking about doing is framing them separately and then just hanging them together. So that is my one stitch finish. <laughs> I still have not gotten um, enough progress upstairs in my craft room to be able to think about fully finishing any items that I have up there, but eventually. Okay, I'll start off by showing you the project that I have been putting in the most time on, and that is 
Japanese gardens. And it's dimensions gold. And oh, China. I'm right across from a window and the sun is going down, but it's still shining pretty good out there. And because it's a west window. But there is Japanese garden. And I told you guys that I want to have that finished by the end of the year. And I will have to take off some of these um, Q-snaps because if they've been ones that I've been working on, they're still in the Q-snaps. So hopefully this won't interrupt the vi video too long. And I am very proud of where I am at with this. I have put in hours and hours and hours of work. And it is kind of, let me give it a good shake here. It is uh, still wrinkly and does have some hanging threads, but here we go. And as you can see, you've seen this side over here a lot, so I'll kind of fold that one up. As you can see, I'm down there on that last corner, and I have, there's some stitches there that are light. They're not showing up really good for me, but on my screen, but usually when I look at the video later, it's showing up okay. So, but there it is. And so I will continue to keep working on this. And lately I have been working on this quite a bit. And then I have two other projects that I have decided are very pretty close to being finished. So I've been continuing to work on those. And so I will show you those first, and then I'll show you the stuff that I was working on in August and in uh, the end of July and also here in September. And the first one is Home Sweet Home, and I do, do not have the picture right here, but it, it's so close to getting finished that... I really don't think that we need the picture. We give it a shake because we got a lot of wrinkles and some hanging threads. Oh, I probably should have something behind this. Let me see if this will work. There. There we go. And as you can see, the one side is totally finished and almost all of the back stitching is done on that side. Now over here, I've been working on this dog and I've got to fill in the rest of his head up here and he has then his ears. And then there are some more um, like the things like the pan and the bowl and stuff is over in here. And uh, then I'll have to finish up that back stitch. So that is Home Sweet Home. So you can see that that one is um, pretty close to going into a finish. And I just need to work on it and not work on anything else other than these few projects. And then we will see a finish. Okay, and the other one that I've been working on is not as close to a finish as Home Sweet Home is, but it is um, a, a pretty easy stitch. And so I thought that since it's such an easy stitch, maybe I could just whip it out and get it out of the way. And this was a gift to me from um, 
threads all over and I believe she's in England and I had gotten this oh some years ago and so and I love it I mean it's just oh it's a it's a Rosewood Manor Karen Kluba and it is just a, a wonderful chart and it's called Silent Sampler if I didn't tell you that And let me pull this out and show you where I am. I have this one in a hoop. So you're going to see the hoop lines. Let me give it a good shake. Pull these threads down. And there we are. And the bottom, the basket down here is almost finished. There's the last time I was working on it, I had done almost the entire basket. And I've got just a little bit right in here because it cuts in. So there's just a little bit right there. And then, um, well, Axel, don't make trouble. Um, there's just a little few more letters and um, some flowers over here. Axel, Axel, no. Axel, sorry. Um, I'm not meaning for you guys to see. This coming Tuesday? Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Now I'm back. Okay. That phone call was a call I was waiting for, uh, which was something else I was going to tell you about. Um... And now I can't remember where I was at about talking, but, um, oh, the respite care. See, it comes to me. It's just not always right there. <laughs> um, respite care is where, you know, like you take a whole day or you take a few days. And they really wanted me to take a few days. But in order to do that, Bob has to, I have to sign him into one of the nursing facilities. And he absolutely has refused he will not, under any circumstances, go and stay overnight. And they tried to explain to him that, you know, when you sign in, you have I have to tell them exactly what day and time I'm going to be back to pick him up. They, you know, it's just not an unlimited thing. It has to be set up. And he, he's, I think he's afraid I'm going to just drop him off and forget about him. So I, I couldn't convince him. So they're trying to get me to take more days. They said, you know, you have unlimited respite time, um, within reason, of course. And, um, you know, I will still get paid to be his caregiver. It's just, it's like vacation time or sick days or whatever. And so I, uh, I'm going to try to take some more, maybe, maybe another one towards the end of the month or into October and, um, try to take a full day about every, um, oh, six weeks or so. I, I think that should be okay. It'll just, 
you know, I could just go and go to the library and just sit in one of their nice chairs and look at magazines or, you know, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't have to be, you know, traveling anywhere. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And the phone call that I just got, I had contacted some cleaning companies and a guy had come over today and he went through the house and he gave me a price and um, for bi-weekly cleaning. So they would come every two weeks. And um, he just called me to tell me that they're scheduling um, our, my first cleaning for this coming Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm like, yes! <laughs> oh, that will just be, you know, a load off my mind. And they, it's a cleaning company, so they do a whole lot of stuff that, you know, probably I wouldn't even do. And there's so much I can't do because I can't lift this arm. And, um, you know, I just, I need the help. And uh, so that's going to be starting. And I'm just, I'm ecstatic over that. And it'll give me the opportunity to maybe stitch a little bit more and maybe be able to work on my crochet and, you know, just keep up with uh, the other, you know, just picking up and stuff like that and not have to worry about scrubbing floors or anything. That, it will be just such a load off my mind. And uh, so that's where we're at. And I have taken up enough time of just sitting here and chattering at you and but I've missed doing that <laughs> Bob doesn't want to hear about my stitching so you know I have to tell somebody and Miranda she'll listen to me but you know she's not really into stitching so. and I have the other thing I have to do is I have to put up all my stitching um, the stuff I've got framed I brought it all down from upstairs and I've got to find the hammer somewhere and some nails and start hanging those things so that I can be looking at them on the walls. So I am going to let you all go. And as I said, I hope everybody is well. And I send out my love and my hugs to everybody. And remember, if you would like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button hit the like button, leave me a comment. I love them. And, um, and I think that when I went in to look and see when my last video was, I think it said I had 700 subscribers. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And so hope to see you again sooner rather than later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.